Hey guys, I'm Zach with Blades LLC Central Minnesota. Now I oftentimes get asked uh, what kind of backpack blower racks we use. And uh, these are actually made by me. Uh, this is all just scrap metal I had laying around, but I will show it to you here and kind of how I designed it. Uh, it does fit a BR800 backpack blower. I know some of you guys have expressed that you cannot find backpack blower racks for the 800 and I'm assuming that's why there's so much interest in them but yeah I'll show them to you here quick tell you how I built them it's a very simple design uh, this is a little I think it's like four inches three and a half or something like that of five inch uh, round tube uh, we have a uh, upright bar here this is one inch tube down here we have some uh, two inch flat which I drilled a couple of holes in this holds the bungee cords which wrap around super simple this is some half inch I believe it's cold rolled uh, mild steel which I welded a little uh, nub on here I hand bent this at home super easy and then down here you can see it's welded to a little piece of angle iron which I put some tech screws in there was a tech screw in the back of here. However, I did not, it did come out. Um, I'm thinking about just putting a solid bolt through this. Uh, this one is still in there. So yeah, and then we got a plastic tube cap in the top just to prevent rain from going down in there. But it does hold the side start BR800. It holds the regular start BR800 and we have had a big echo blower on here as well I haven't tried like red max or whatever but it does go on pretty simple just slide the tube in here and she hangs right on it super simple and then we have the bungee cord that does go around here I don't have that right here right now but that's how it works you can see it on on this one here so and they are nice and sturdy going down the road We've never had any issues with them coming off. I was thinking about actually having these maybe manufactured, but I wanted to do some testing first, run them a year and see how they held up. So it could be something uh, coming down the, down the pipeline here, but we'll see. Let me know, drop a comment down below. Let me know if I should uh, maybe look into getting some of these made up and maybe some of you guys would want to buy some of them. So. I hope you all are staying safe and uh, I hope you'll check out some of our other videos. We do a lot with uh, our steel products and our Toros back here and we will see you guys on the next one.